Talking Transportation, T-Talk videos on Transportation TV. The mission of this company from the very beginning was to catalyze a mass movement towards sustainable transportation by using electric vehicle technology. Um, I had the privilege of being with the uh, initial group that started Tesla. I was not one of the founders. Uh, the founders were uh, a, a, group, a small group of electrical engineers who had been working, working on storage technology for mobile devices, so for phones and laptops and, uh, and other consumer electronics, and, and were aware of the, the advancements that had been made in lithium-ion technology in particular, uh, smaller, cheaper form factors to make the uh, cell phones and laptops that we all use, iPads and others, possible today, that that technology become refined to the point where it could be deployed in a vehicle environment uh, and that its cost profile was, uh, had, had come down substantially and, and showed a traje trajectory to come down even further. Every electric vehicle uh, prior to Tesla had been limited in its range by battery technology. There was a movement in the 1990s to produce electric vehicles. GM had an exemplary product, the, the uh, the EV1 uh, that had modest success before they took them back and crushed them, but that had a range of something like 70 or 80 miles if the wind was at your back and you had a downhill run. Uh, we believe that our frost first product should have at least 250 miles of range, and we almost got there. The Roadster had 245 miles of range. And this was important from a utility perspective, but really as much for a psychological perspective, that, that, that we could show to the public that this vehicle was pound for pound as good or better than any other vehicle that sold in its segment. Because we don't make the best, we're not in the business of making the best electric vehicles in the world. Uh, that would be great if we are, and I think we are, but the, but, but the point is to make the best vehicles in whatever class we're competing in. Our business model was quite simple, which was uh, we just basically borrowed the business model of almost all technology that's ever been introduced in uh, in modern society, and that is uh, first generation product starts at low volumes because the cost of the components is necessarily high, and in order to be commercially viable, you need to be ba essentially bury that cost. So our first product, which we produced from 2008 to 2011, was a two-seat sports car, uh, the Tesla Roadster, uh, very successful from a technology and from a commercial uh, point of view, um, and helped us to build the assets we needed in order to build higher volume, lower price products, um, brand, attract capital, refine the technology. These are the things that allowed us to do uh, so that when we had those resources, we were able to introduce uh, or hit the second, uh, the second milestone in our business plan, which is production of a, uh, a mid-volume, more, uh, more mass-produced, more uh, mass-priced vehicle. What we were able to do is go from a base price of $110,000 for the Tesla Roadster to $70,000, which is a significant difference. And we did that by uh, refining the technology and by applying uh, economies of scale. If we did 500 uh, Roadsters a year, which we were doing, uh, we did 50,000 units of, uh, of Model S this past year. And we're on a path to producing 500,000 units uh, in 2020 of our next vehicle, the Model 3, which is a $35,000 EV. Think about this, the biggest mass of an electric vehicle, ours, the way we design it, is basically a big pancake that sits between the chassis rails out to the axle. It's about that thick. It's the heaviest component in the car, spread out perfectly. And so as you turn, you're not pitching and yawing. And when you're, when you're stopping or accelerating, you're not doing this piece. Um, with an internal combustion engine, the biggest weight component of the vehicle is sitting in front of the driver, essentially as a big pendulum. And most, a lot of the engineering in the vehicle, in terms of vehicle dynamics, is how do you manage this big, big piece of mass? So an extraordinary opportunity to create a high-performance product and then make it look great. There are major, major uh, societal shifts underway driven by technology. Uh, humbly, we're a part of that, um, and it's always a great opportunity to to talk about what we're doing uh, in a first-person context. As you probably know, uh, we don't uh, do advertising uh, at Tesla. Um, uh, we actually put that money into the technology. Uh, that's a matter of philosophy. Uh, we are uh, the beneficiaries of a great deal of media attention. 
Uh, that's a good thing, mostly. We get drawn into this argument all the time. Uh, there are legislatures around the country that are assigning random, truly random, if you've been in these discussions, <laughs> fees uh, to electric vehicles uh, because electric vehicles don't buy gas and gas taxes fund, uh, fund infrastructure. Um, I, I think it's, it's, it's absolutely fair that electric vehicles should pay their fair share of the wear and tear that they create on, a, on the nation's roads. Um, I don't love an imprecise um, a modality for funding that. Um, uh, the, there's, a, there's substantial debate about vehicle uh, VMT, uh, vehicle miles traveled, uh, fees or taxes. Uh, there are fair considerations that need to be covered around privacy. I have a particular view on that. Um, but, uh, but we think, I think that, you know, as Wayne Gretzky once said, you know, the reason he was successful is because he, not because he skated to the puck, but he skated to where the puck was going. Uh, I think that's where we're probably going over the course of time. T-Talk videos on Transportation TV.